But how will the disappearance of all of these species affect me personally? How will the disappearance of species affect me? Well, of course, the disappearance of species will affect us all. We're absolutely reliant on functioning ecosystems to provide our food and other resources. So as these systems start to degrade, as species are lost, eventually these systems will collapse. So species, first of all, they don't disappear in isolation. They, their disappearance is usually the consequence of uh, changes in, in their natural habitat. So several species will disappear at once. Once a species disappear, it will affect other species because they uh, change the resources, they, they change um, the food that is available or, or they change the environment. And people have known about this for decades. One of the best analogies for the loss of species and its impact on us is the rivet popping hypothesis um, presented by Paul and Anne Ehrlich back in the 1980s. And they sort of remind us that functioning ecosystems are a bit like an aircraft. It functions very effectively, it can fly through the air, and you can take out one rivet from the, from the wing, you can take out another rivet from a wing, and slowly it'll start to have an impact, but we don't really see it, the starting of cracks and so on. But eventually you'll take out one too many rivets, and by that they're talking about species, and the whole structure collapses. And that's perhaps a really good way of thinking about this. It's a slow process, it's one in which we really don't see the damage taking place until it's too late. Extinction affects the provision of ecosystem services. These ecosystem services go from the production of the air we breathe to the composition of the soils and the plants and animals that we eat and the genes and the remedies that uh, are created to control of diseases and pollination and uh, the cycle of water and all the chemicals. So every single process in our lives and well-beings depends on services provided by nature. And if we think about nature as the system where each part has its role and cannot be disconnected, is easier to understand the role of biodiversity loss. So without biodiversity, we have no sustainable future. We actually have no future at all. When we protect, restore, connect nature, and when we bring back species that have been around locally, but uh, have gone locally extinct, we are having a positive impact in nature and helping to restore the health of the living system. In the same way, the choices that we make, we can make biodiversity friendly choices in the way we produce and consume food and um, um, fuel and uh, energy in general. So the choices that we make, the political choices and, and the choices that we make as consumers will also define how much of nature is being protected and impacted in a positive or a negative way. We must consider the value of nature in the decisions that we make at political level and uh, at the economic level so that we consider life and the planet and nature before we think of uh, profit. Um, in this way, we are contributing to a more equitable and healthy living and society.